Hey, what's up everybody? Sujan Patel here. This video is really for new entrepreneurs. I want to share 12 struggles every entrepreneur faces. And if you're, especially if you're just starting off, it's really, really important that you know how to be prepared. And not everybody's cut out to be an entrepreneur, so if you can't cut it, that's cool too. But you should be aware that these are the things, the harsh realities you're going to face. Number one, rejection happens every day. Whether it's a sales call, whether you get, you get denied by investors, whatever it may be, you're going to be faced with rejection every single day. You're going to have to overcome that. Figure out a way to deal with it. And most successful entrepreneurs already have. It's one of the first few things they figure out. Number two, the world is always changing. Technology is changing. Platforms are changing. Stay ahead of the curve. I remember back in 2013, well, I, I failed to do that for the few years leading into it. And I pretty much burned out. And I had to spend the next two, three years really, really getting my hands dirty to get ahead of the game. And ever since, I've been staying on top of it. So stay ahead of the game. Look at what's coming. AR, VR, whatever technology or whatnot is coming. Stay ahead. Uh, number three is say no. Learn to say no way more often. Because the most valuable thing you have is time. Your time. Your team's time. Everybody's time is very, very important. And the more you do, it doesn't always result into more results or more gains or what have you. It's usually doing things better and staying super focused that can help you move your needle or grow as an entrepreneur. Number four is nobody really cares about you. To be honest, most people only care about your, themselves. And so just know that. So when you're doing a sales pitch, when you're going out there, when you're building a name for yourself, make it about other people. And when you do that, it becomes about you, right? And when you're doing that, guess what? You care about yourself, not others, right? All right, so just know that and go in accordingly. Being an entrepreneur is physically and mentally exhausting. That's number five and six. The mental exhaustion relates to being physically exhausted. You're gonna probably work longer, harder than you've ever done before, and that's gonna make you physically exhausted. And mentally, it's gonna, you're gonna be in the most, a lot more stress, a lot more things are gonna, the weight is gonna be on your shoulders. I remember uh, early when I was, early in my entrepreneurship, I was, uh, I was, I had a payroll of over a million dollars a year. I remember one day I was like just, I was like waiting for a check to clear from a client so I could make payroll. I was like crossing my fingers. That was like gut wrenching. Like I couldn't eat hoping that we would not be late for payroll because I had 27 employees, you know, essentially waiting to be paid. And uh, if it's, if we're late one day, that makes a big difference on their lives. That's not cool. It's not something we want to do. It's just painful. And there's been hundreds of mentally exhausting things ever since. I've just gotten way better at dealing with them. Things that used to phase me just are nonchalant. Um, all right, number seven, it's really not about how good you are or how awesome you are. It's about how good people think you are. So build your network, build your personal brand, because ultimately the person who's the loudest, who has the biggest brand or the most well-known, will let will be the ones that people consider. And then out of that, yes, you have to be good, you have to have substance, but really, they won't even know your name, or won't know you're good unless you have a brand. So make sure you build a brand. Be ready to make sacrifices. This is one of the things I see most new entrepreneurs really, really uh, suck at. They're not willing to do what it takes. I've been there, I've done that, I've been in that shoes, and I know it takes a lot of sacrifices. I remember I didn't want to do it when early in my career, but you won't be able to see your family as much in the beginning. You won't have time for your friends. People, in fact, your friends, when you do hang out with them, you'll be thinking about something there. Something else, you mentally won't be there. You'll be working longer, harder, longer hours and harder than you've ever worked before. So be ready to make those sacrifices and don't do it until you're actually ready. And if you never are able to make those sacrifices, just know that's okay. But that's the price it takes to be an entrepreneur. I was talking to one of my friends who runs a $20 million business. He's been doing this for 15 years now. And he's like, man, let me tell you something. Sujin, I don't know my kids' birthdays. Now, I'm not saying you have to get to that sacrifice or not know your kids' birthdays. But he's like, that's a harsh reality. That's his life. He's decided to do that to be able to build his business. Now, he, I'm sure he's a great father. 
and I know him as a person, he's a great human being, but that's a sacrifice he was willing to make uh, to get ahead and build an empire for himself. Number nine, the boring stuff is really important. Finances, HR, in fact, investing your money or even things to do when your business is successful is very, very important, right? Go back to the rules above, like saying no is really, really important when your business is thriving, when you can do a lot more things. Being focused can still really help you out. In fact, most of my income these days comes from a lot of passive, invest, passive investments I've made in the past. Real estate, um, I, I, use, I do a lot of real estate investing through Realty Mogul, lots of like small little investments um, in commercial real estate throughout the US. Um, investments I made in companies, I made an investment in like apartment complex and like a random company that like end up selling uh, and I, it made me a ton of money that year. It just, I, again, like I started investing my money. Now, most people want to blow it on cars and, and going out and traveling. That's cool too, but just make sure your money is working for you. It's really, really important. Hire a money manager um, and, and be smart with it, especially when you have it because that's what helps you get to that next level. All right, number 10, hiring and retaining employees is the most important thing you can do as an, as an entrepreneur. Why? Because good people, great people are hard to find and even harder to keep. Keep them happy, do what it takes to keep them around and know when it's time for them to go. In fact, what I do at my agency and my business is, is I let people know up front, like, hey, look, we're going to work together for a few years, but my goal is to have a relationship for a lifetime. I might help you get your next job. I might help you get your next, next job. In fact, um, I've done that many times for my employees. So they leave on my terms. They leave when I think when both people are ready to kind of let it go and they kind of leveled up or whatnot. So um, that's my way of retaining great employees and keeping good people around. Uh, number 11 is nothing is as good as it looks on the outside. Um, all those, it's all those people who are driving fast cars and, and traveling the world. Well, guess what? They're probably struggling. Um, they're working their butts off. Like I know for sure when I, and I post all the awesome things I do in life on Facebook, like I'm speaking at conferences. Um, I just got back from Europe and I spoke at eight different conferences back to back, um, within a two and a half week period. I left Austin. I spoke that day, that night I left, went to New York. And I had, you know, I had some breaks in between, don't get me wrong, over the course of two and a half weeks, but I busted my butt. I was in seven or eight different countries. Yes, I was able to spend some time with my wife. I brought my wife along. We took a day off in the middle of the week. I worked through the weekend to make sure, you know, to kind of counter that. But if you look at my Facebook account, it looks like I had an amazing vacation. But what you didn't see is I worked 18 hour days. I was up 6 a.m. in the morning because Europe, that's when, um, that's when I can answer emails and kind of get stuff done. I had a mountain of things to do. My work didn't stop. Um, and uh, I was sleeping late at night because I was going to networking dinners and things like that. So it's really, really hard work. It's not all about Lambos and helicopters, contrary to what uh, Ty Lopez and his videos share. So it's hard freaking work. And most people are busting their butts. And what you see on Facebook or whatever is like 1% of their life. Uh, this, my intro reel of my video is like 1% of my life if I'm lucky. And lastly, you are going to fail. You're going to fail over and over and over again. And just when you think you got it, you got your business down, the rug can just get pulled out underneath you. So be prepared for that. Like just as I said in the beginning, rejection, be okay with failure. I failed so many times and I'm just comfortable with it. Uh, not that you should be comfortable with it, but just know that you're going to fail. And it's all about how you recover. So, you know, my first failure took me a year to get out of, uh, mentally get out of it. My second, third, fourth, fifth, I fail all the time. In fact, um, you know, I have a business I acquired recently that's frankly just not doing well. I would call it a failure. We're going to probably have to sell it and we're going to probably take a loss on it. That's a big failure for me because um, that was the one I was super bullish on. That was one I uh, actually like convince my partner that why to buy it. And so he's going to lose money because of me. Again, sharing this information with you to hopefully prepare you to be an awesome entrepreneur, prepare you to understand and know the struggles, the sacrifices it's going to take to be an entrepreneur. All right, guys, until next time, if you have any questions, comments, whatever, leave them below.